I watched this one YouTube video that interviewed women in the Philippines, and they all said that a good man is the prize. Before we get into the video, I'm going to explain what this means and why women in Asia value a good man. Not just a good man, but a nice guy. As you all know, I am a passport brother. I have been to Vietnam, Thailand and now I am in the Philippines. Here is how it works in Asia. In Asia, women understand that to have a family with children, you need two incomes. There is no getting around this. There are no government safety programs such as food stamps, government housing, no child support and no alimony. Plus, if the man leaves, the woman is stuck with the child. The man can walk away free of any obligations. All of it will be on her. Remember, there is no child support and no alimony. Thus, unlike the United States, she cannot just walk away from the marriage. So she knows she will be stuck with him for a long time. Plus, in Asia, domestic violence is considered a personal matter. So, unless he kills her, no one is coming to rescue her. If he does kill her, then it is too late. So, it is not about financial stability. But more about emotional and psychological stability. Younger men want to hang out with their friends, go out drinking and have a good time. Some might have ego problems, pride issues, and others might want to prove something to the world. All of these things do not make a good family man. Many young women's dream in Asia is to have their own family with children. Older men are looked at as being past all of this. Older men are looked at as being more emotionally and psychologically mature, thus more of a family man. I know I might not completely look like I'm 60. Let me tell you. After I dyed my hair and got rid of all the gray. I do not get as much attention from young girls as I once did. I still get looks and some attention, but not as much. Even if I look like I am in my 40s, that is still a 20-year age gap. I met a man named Dave, who taught a college business class in mainland China for three years. He said that once the girls realized that he was not taking advantage of his position, such as hitting on girls, and other stuff. They realized that he was a nice guy. A good man. This is when they started coming after him hard. This is when he started getting inappropriate attention. In America, one of the reasons why teachers cannot date students is because of the power imbalance. In mainland China, many male teachers do not care. So, for Asia, if you are a decent looking older gentleman with gray hair, do not be surprised if you get very young girls showing interest. So, keep some of your gray hair and show the women you are a gentleman, considerate, thoughtful, understanding, and kind. A nice guy who can be loyal. Female, okay, maybe it was the most expensive, was uh, you took her to a $100 steak dinner and she, she scammed you out of it. Where the other side is men scamming hundreds of thousands of dollars. I don't think that's Bro, it. I don't think but, that's it. But, I don't think that's it. But the whole, the, what you just described would require the most insane con to get her emotionally connected <laughs> to you. Yeah. To get her to do, whereas what you said before, which is the $100 steak dinner, mm -hmm. there are women who will make guys do that 10 to 20 times, never sleep with them while simultaneously sleeping with other men. Very true. A lot of them. A lot of them. This clip is from the YouTube channel called Average Man Unplug. I will put a link to his channel in the description. What he says is correct, but I would like to add a few things. When I was in Vietnam, I met Western men who were married to Vietnamese women. They said that Vietnamese women consider what their future husbands will think of their past behavior. Vietnamese women understand that their past behavior can affect how their future husband will view them, and if they can find a man that will marry them. Plus, women in the West believe they are the prize, so men should be grateful and appreciative. So why should we women care about what our future husband might think? He will be grateful just to have us. When they get older, they realize they might have been the prize, but they were not as big of a prize as they believed. So, to correct past mistakes, they have to make men believe that they are a good prize. Not some 1979 Ford Pinto. You know, the car that exploded when it got hit in the back. Where are you? I'm 31. Okay. Do you think dating gets easier for you as you age? Oh my god, no. Actually, no. It seems the opposite. In high school, it was so easy. Dude, when you get older, and you move to a new town or wherever, and the only people you see is at work and the grocery store, you're like, shit, how do I meet people? How do you feel about sex before marriage? Yes, but if you're in a relationship, for me at least. Okay. I'm at a stage now where I want more commitment and someone serious rather than just someone just going to hit it and quit it. So, Not a fan of that anymore. So why do you start making men wait until you're in a relationship? 
because I want to see that you actually want me for me, not just my body. Did those men make you feel like you were just being tossed around? Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Quite literally and, and <laughs> yeah. figuratively. Yeah. <laughs> okay. How, how much time do we have? Do we have two hours? Or like Notice, pay attention to the words she said. Not into that anymore. She belongs to the streets. So, yes, fellas, this is what happens, man. This is what happens. This is why men don't have sympathy for you. Because we know during y'all best years, y'all are doing what that woman is doing. She had her fun in her 20s. Now she wants guys to work harder to do what guys didn't have to do in order to get the same access as the guys before him. And she's older now. She's not in her peak anymore. That's why men don't have sympathy. Y'all moving backwards. And it's all because y'all bought into this effingness and this empowerment. Let me put something on the back end of what I'm about to say, because it's about to sound crazy when I say it. Uh -oh. Stop going after money. No, 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 wait, 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 because I'm not telling you not to have standards. Go after men that are generous. Because there's a there's a, a pretty huge difference. A man that's generous is not about how much he makes, it's in his nature to give. And he's going to well. make sure that you he may not be able to buy you the, the, the twenty thousand dollar purse, he may not be able to but he's gonna make sure you straight because yeah. that's who he is. Yeah. You go after a nigga with money, he might be stingy as so then you got to get rid of that thing with money, but he got to get uh, that so generous. Got to be generous with something. Like you got to have something to be generous with. Uh, what you see, gonna give me, air? Gener generous is about a heart. As I said earlier, women in Asia know that there is no child support, no alimony, and no domestic violence laws. They know she will be stuck with him for a long time. So they want a nice guy, a generous man of the heart. For American women, the saying goes. She always said she wanted an honest man. That is, until she got one, and he started telling her the truth. Like, just put more like, effort into there's so coming much, up with something There's so many different. things that you could do. That just put in more effort, says the panel of women that never planned a first date in their lives. It is kind of convenient, since for y'all to say that when you've probably never planned a date, set up the date, set the time. You guys are women, you're feminists, I think all of you believe in the patriarchy. Are you oppressed, and if so, how? Being told at age 16, 17 that you're going to be making hundreds and hundreds of dollars if you sell them content of you naked, is that not like... Is that oppression or opportunity? You think that's an opportunity? Were you forced by someone into this position? Like, were you trafficked into it, or was it a choice that you made? Yeah, respectfully, I'm not going to answer that question. That's like, no. Could you make the choice to leave the industry? Yeah. But you don't want to? No, because I feel fine now. I think it's dumb when men are intimidated, like if their girlfriend or prospective partner out earns them. I don't think men are intimidated by women who are successful or by women who make a lot of money. Well, what is it no. about then? So it's less about the actual money and more about if you become hyper successful in business, that typically means cultivating certain personality traits that may not necessarily be conducive in a relationship. Like, for example, a woman who's a lawyer, which I think good for you, fantastic. However, in order to be a lawyer, you're probably going to be someone who's temperamentally disagreeable. You have to be disagreeable. You're probably going to be a bit more in your masculine. You're going to be to some degree argumentative. You're going to adapt certain more masculine traits. And most men probably don't want to date like hyper masculine women yeah. and quarrelsome women.